guys, my name is Don Labaza. I'm the owner of Labaza Lawn and Landscape. I'm 16 years old now. Uh, started up the company back in 2015 when I was in, what was it, sixth grade. Uh, started out just kind of mowing lawns for money. Uh, I always liked mowing yards when I was little. Like, you know, basically ever since I was a kid, I always like wanted to be out working and working hard. So I eventually worked up my company to where it is today. Um, started off with that mower there and just kind of worked up. You see where we're at. And um, so yeah, I'm just gonna give you guys a little tour of all the stuff I have so far, uh, what I've worked for. Everything you see here, I earned, I worked for, I paid for. Like my parents didn't help me with any of it. Um, so yeah. All right, so this year, this is my 2017 Chevy Silverado 1500. Um, I bought it, uh, what was it, a year, about a year and a half ago. Um, Right now it has about 60,000 miles. I bought it with a little under 40,000. It has the V8 gas engine in it, so it's really good for towing. I towed with it basically all day, every day this summer. Um, towed my trailer, some bigger ones, some smaller ones. Um, crew cab, four wheel drive, all the basic stuff. It's not, it's an LT, so it's not the highest model, but it's not the lowest either. So I have some creature comforts on the inside, but not like, it's a work truck. So keep it kind of simple. On the back, I put these uh, sides here wood sides just made it myself um in here we just hold like with these sides i have one on each side i can hold about four yards of mulch three yards of topsoil is about the most before you max out the suspension this is a 1500 so it doesn't have very high payload i think it's like 1800 but that's whatever i go over that pretty much every day never had a problem um pretty good truck i liked it toes really well drives really well good for work and good for play so that's all I really needed out of it. I got tow mirrors as the one upgrade just because I do a lot of towing, obviously. Um, a lot of hauling with it. It's been good. Um, this here is my Honda push mower. This is the HRX217. This is what I started the company with. Now it's basically like it's like you can see, like this is all bent up handle or whatever. I've had this since 2015, and never had a single issue with it. Um, I started off, I mowed about five yards a week with it at first, so that's. It took that just fine, and now we just use it barely anything. If now I use this if we have to cut around like ponds or like ditches, like stuff you wouldn't put a nice mower on. But I loved it. I can only say great things about it. Um, this here is my 2019 Skag V Ride 2. Uh, it's fine, I guess. I don't like it as much as I thought I would. Um, just because I'll, I'll go into detail. But uh, so basically, it's a 48 inch deck with the Kawasaki engine on it. Um, about what is it 400 hours on it now um use it all summer i have the vacuum system that goes on it we'll show you that when we go in the trailer because i do a lot of bagging i probably bag about 80 percent of what we cut all the commercial stuff gets bagged about three-fourths of the residentials i'd say so it was overall a good mower but um just like some cut quality problems i guess you have to keep the deck extremely clean and you can't really cut too tall grass otherwise it'll leave clumps um, I talked to my dealer and they said that's probably because of the bagging system that's on it, which is, I bag most of the time, so it's not that big of a deal. Other than that, been a really good memory. A uh, gas tank is decently big, I think it's like eight gallons, but uh, what is it? It'll last about a day of mowing, about like a, I usually, when we mow, it's usually eight to ten hour days. On the longer days, I have to fill up, on the shorters, I don't. Um, good suspension platform, lots of power, maybe could use a little more power, but this engine's really nice. Um, just your average mower. I know you guys have probably seen it a hundred times now. Um, oh yeah, one other thing is when, when we bag with it, I run the mulching blades. And when we side discharge, I run the high list. Just keeps the cut quality as good as I can get it. This here is a Gravely Zero Turn Mower. I actually just sold this, so this is probably the last time you'll see it. But um, it's a 34-inch cutting deck, 18-horsepower uh, engine. Or it might be 16 horsepower engine. Um, pretty nice, comfortable. As you, like, it's just your little zero turn mower. Got your foot pedal to raise the deck. Parking brakes here. Uh, smaller gas tank on this. I think it's about two gallons. Uh, with your key and everything here. This one also has the bagging system on it. Like I said, we bag almost everything we cut. So that's pretty much. We have to run a bagger on every mower we have just because of that. Um, I like this mower. It's pretty nice. Um, same thing, uh, just kind of your average zero turn, you know. Basically, it's a homeowner mower. Don't use it too much, probably 
used to use it on about like four to five yards a week. Um, that was until I got this. Then this took over about 90% of the mowing I would do with that. Um, and the, everyone, you know, this here, well, we'll start off with this. This is my Toro Time Master. Just your average 30 inch push mower. Got it from Home Depot, they're like a thousand bucks. Now this mower, I cannot say enough great things about this thing. Cuts amazing, stripes amazing. I'll throw a picture up on screen. Like it's great mower. I love it. Bags amazing, mulches, leaves perfectly. I love this mower. Um, that's why this mower doesn't cut as great. And with the little tires on the front and back, you can see it like digs in, makes a lot of ruts and like, it's, let's be honest, doesn't cut that well. That's why I'd rather use this, something that's light, something that's easy, um, doesn't tear up yards because the customers are happier with this cut. I When I started using this over that, I got some compliments on how it looked. So that's kind of where I, uh, why I decided to eventually switch over and walking versus sitting isn't that big of a deal because the yards we're cutting with them aren't big at all. All they are are like backyards or hills, like basically, you can't tell the difference and most of the time I'm not even the one running it I have my employees that run it so it's not that big of a deal to me they like it so happy with it um coming around back here these are two of my weed whackers uh this one here is a steel fx 10 rx it's pretty nice you can see we haven't had any issues with it I got it in like June used it pretty much every day since done pretty nice this is a husqvarna this is just a backup honestly i've never used that thing one time i think my guys used it a couple of times but i can't really say much about it back in my garage i actually have um a steel fs 94r a km 130 and then another combi unit those the one combi is an edger the other one runs on like hedge trimmer rototiller and then the fs 94 is just a trimmer those now are honestly just our backups. The edger I take with us every single day, but that's at home because I had to change the blade on it. But basically what we take every single day is these two trimmers, uh, the one that we use all the time, the backup, and then the edger. Um, like I said, you can't really complain about them. I don't personally use them. I probably trimmed about five yards all year, so I can't really say much about them. But this here is uh, my Steel PR800C. Um, it's the one, obviously, with the side start system on it. Uh, great blower, but I don't like the side start. I would I would prefer the X model with the, where you just start it regularly. The side start's kind of hard to use, kind of cumbersome. Not as, not as easy for guys, because like I said, same thing. I don't really do too much blowing, so it's a little harder for the employees to kind of get a hang of it. Um, but same thing, like, good, good blower. I like it. Tons of power, blows super nice, wet grass, dry grass, wet leaves, dry leaves, pine cones, whatever you need it to do, it'll handle. Uh, goes through gas kind of quick, um, but whatever. This is uh, our older blower. This is just one of our backups too, but we just carry it with us. Uh, it's a Echo PB580T, regular backpack blower, get it from Home Depot. I don't really like Echo stuff, so whatever. First blower I got, first backpack blower, can't complain, not too much power not too nice but it gets the job done if you're just starting out for like what is it 300 bucks pick that up like because i think that one's what like 700 so for more than double the price pick your bets there these two are get just our regular gas cans we carry on the daily just a five gallon of regular gas and a five gallon of gas oil mix um we don't really fuel up with the gas cans for the mowers i just pull them through the gas station every day um but it's nice to carry an extra five gallon in case you run out, in case you need it. The oil, we fill up the trimmers, blowers, everything like that with. Um, five gallons gets you through, what, like a week? So it's nice to have. This here, Hump Cadet spreader, just professional spreader. Don't do too much fertilizing. Only a couple yards, but nice to have. Um, works well. And then you can use salt in the winter for if you're doing snow, which we do. We don't get too much snow here. Probably about like 10 events, 12 events a season. That's a nice soft fertilizer. And then come. All right, so this here is my trailer. Um, seven by eighteen enclosed Vinos. Um, nothing special. Same thing. Uh, seven feet wide, which is a little small. Um, eight and a, eight and a half would be better, just because when the mowers are in here, it's kind of tight, a little bit hard to walk around. But whatever. Um, this here is a green touch blower rack. Um, 
one has the locking with the bar that opens and closes. This one we put the steel in. Um, this here is homemade trim racks I made. They're kind of beat up, but you can see how the top one works. Lift this up, uh, trimmer sits in, head goes here, slide the handle in here, and you push this down, it locks it into place. Um, had three of them, but when we put the skag with the vacuum system, it, it would have hit these, so we had to take those off. Put a little bin here, you can see here's some of the parts, a little clippers, wrenches, stuff we use every single day. Just kind of real nice, easy to get to there. Um, on the roof, I have uh, clips, put rakes on, shovels on, um, good for all the storage like that. Uh, this here holds the tube for that blower. Working our way up, there's another hook I put on the wall here. This holds the other blower, the Echo. Um, trimmer spool on, I made this myself here. I'll show you guys how this works. What it is, it's just two angle brackets with a one foot dowel going through it. Or like a, or a threaded rod and then two bolts that hold it together and then the, the string just sits on there. We use the Piranha line stuff. Uh, works fine, nice line. Um, working our way up, this here's a side door. Uh, you know, nice for when you're at the gas station. You can just get in and out quick. Um, up here's the two shelves I made. So there's a smaller one on top and a little one on the bottom. Down here we just keep our toolbox with all our like I, like tools we use, wrenches, all that kind of stuff. Spray it up in the front for weed control. And then on the shelf right now we have the two vacuum systems for the mowers. So the blowers are on here. Uh, tubes along the back and then this is the big vacuum bag. This is the two baggers for the push mowers. And then up top I keep like wheel chocks for the trailer, locks for the trailer, straps, uh, super clean cleaner, two stroke oil, like round up concentrate, all that kind of stuff. On the bottom I have a tool kit just with wrenches and stuff. And commonly stuff breaks while you're out in the field you can just fix it and get back to work. Tarp up in the front just kind of stores under there because it's just in case you need it kind of thing. That's a rototiller for one of the combi units. Um, same whatever it's just you use it like if you're doing uh, garden bed maintenance, landscaping work, it's nice just to be able to chop up some stuff. Um, here's the two the soft bags for the skag, the hard bags for the gravely. Here's the other side that goes on the other side of the truck. We just didn't throw it on because you can't even see it. Um, so yeah, vent up here in the roof keeps it, whatever keeps it nice in here, not smelling like gas. Um, uh, there used to be two strings that hold up the back door, but you don't need them obviously. It's pretty light. Um, put this one off so I could drive up the mowers, change the blades on this side. So yeah, um, that's pretty much tour of all the equipment we have here. I'll take you guys home, show you inside the garage too of all my workbench where I work on my stuff, the other stuff I have. But yeah, so kind of a tour of all the equipment I have, all the stuff I own. Like I said, all the stuff here I earned, I worked for, I paid for it all. I wasn't given any of it. Like I worked hard, hard days. Um, yes, I'm I'm only 16, so I'm still in high school. I'm a junior right now. Um, plans to grow my company, you know, as big as I can get it. Like many crews do, like landscaping work. I'd say now we do about two thirds mowing and about one third landscaping. So we do like retaining walls, paver work, landscape beds, bed maintenance, mulch, all that, and then we do all the mowing. Uh, mow about 50 yards a week, give or take on the week, because you have some that are like bigger acreage, some commercial stuff like HOAs. But yeah, um, this is pretty much where we're at right now. Um, this will be for the 2021 year. Um, same thing, like it, like I said, I'll show you guys it all now. I'll show you guys it all at the end of the year. We'll see where I've grown from now. Obviously, I have some pretty big plans for this year. Things I want to grow, things I want to do equipment I want so we'll see where where that all goes what all happens all right so this is just kind of what it looks like with everything put in here skag goes in the back obviously the vacuum system is normally around this side so kind of some open space now but blower here right little rider in the front uh the Toro's in front of that the Honda goes under the shelf uh two blowers in the walls like I said trimmers go here um I'll kind of demonstrate how this works um but so basically here's how they sit like this, you take it off, pull that up, slide out the handle, and then take the trimmer out like that. And then if you want to put one in, same thing, you just kind of clip the front in. Insert your trimmer like this. Oh, there's two more that go down, like here's the parts for them right here. They go down here and here, but I had to take them off, obviously, just because of the bagging system. No big deal. Uh, 
So yeah, this is kind of what it all looks like with everything in here, just so you guys can get an idea how it's all organized and set up. So yeah, alrighty guys, well thank you very much for watching, I appreciate it. Um, if you guys stuck around the end, appreciate it. Hit that like button, you know, subscribe so you can see kind of how this year goes for me. Um, plans to make a lot more videos in the future, like I said, and uh, so yeah, alrighty guys, have a good day.